Now, President Cyril Ramaphosa says he's still in disbelief that he will never see Jackson Tembo again. He was speaking at the funeral of the late minister in the presidency earlier. The news of Jackson's passing has struck a deep and solemn note to many of us. I remembered the words of William Shakespeare that when sorrows come, they come not as single spies, but in battalions. The coronavirus has caused so many sorrows in our country and in our communities. Our society, like most around the world, has been plunged into turmoil. We have lost so many lives to this deadly disease. There have been many tears and grief in so many homes. We've had to endure so much that at times it has seemed too great a grief to bear. And now the stroke of death has taken the very one who has been our citadel, our rock, and our tower of strength at this deadly moment in our country's history. Jackson Temple's wife paid a moving tribute to her husband. She thanked him for all the years they spent together. The letter was read by the nurse who took care of him at Mopark Hospital. To my dearest husband, I was a young, innocent girl when we met. Got married at 23 years. Never thought we would make it up to this far. But through God's grace, we made it. Thank you for all the years that we spent together. We have had our difficulties as other couples do. And I can't forget the wonderful moments too. I won't forget you calling me Matembis on Dombazan, which made me even my in-laws to call me by my name. We will always remember your jokes. You will always be a part of me. Love you always, my beautiful, as they say, he used to call himself handsome husband. Ntembo's daughter Tuli says that she's grateful her father taught them that hard work and humility go together. She says her father's legacy will continue to live on through the family. You taught us so much without saying anything at all. You taught us that hard work and humility are two peas in a pod, like prayer and patience. I'm sad that you won't be teaching all of this to our kids, that the milestones yet to come seem tainted with the reality that you won't be there. Whew. I will miss answering my phone and hearing, is that my daughter? Not knowing whether I should say yes, but it is a yes. <laughs> I will miss you looking at me like I'm crazy when I dish anything that's not bap because everything else is considered a salad. I will miss you saying mfuzewena when people say I'm beautiful because, like you always say, you've been handsome and beautiful. I will miss you saying sisebenzaganzima, serious, then being the hardest working man I have ever known. On the plus side, you've left us with the greatest gift ever, each other. We promise that your love will continue holding us together. We'll keep praying for and with each other. You may be gone, but we promise that your legacy and love will live on through us.